heard uh, there's going to be a group that's going about 105.30 ish, 105.15 to 105.30, and uh, that's probably the group that I'll go with. I think there's another group that's going maybe 106 to 10, 107, somewhere in there. Um, I think that'd be a little bit off what I want today, so I'm just going to try and stick with that front group for the first half and then try and ratchet down the pace in the second half. So far, I mean, just my run this morning, there were tons of people out along the lake and um, you're starting to see the hotel fill up with athletes and you're recognizing people left and right as you walk through, um, you know, get on the elevator and you, you see your competitors for tomorrow. So it's, it's definitely a cool atmosphere and I think it's only going to get better from here. Here waiting for the L, uh, 4.55 in the morning, um, going down to, to meet Matt before he uh, gets on the bus to go to the start line. I feel really good, you know? I mean, obviously, you know, there's a little bit of nervousness. Um, there's nervousness for the coach, just like there is for the athlete. He's going to go out in five flats with Bobby Curtis and Crystal Landry, and that little group has a pacer, um, so that's 105.30 for half. That last 10K, I truly, I, I didn't think I was going to finish. Um, some little things happened here and there that kind of made the race unravel for me a little bit. And then mentally I knew that that was happening. Emotionally I knew that was happening. And I, and I was trying to handle that and trying to come to terms with that while still trying to run fast, although it wasn't that fast by that point. Um, you know, and at a certain, probably about four or five miles to go, um, there was some darkness creeping in, literal darkness, you know, I was kind of blacking out a little bit. Um, I saw in the last mile they have some signs that, you know, 1600 to go, 1200 to go, 800, 400, 200. And even at the last 200 meter, 200 meter to go sign, I was like, I'm not gonna make it, you know. Um, the wall is real. <laughs> Uh, a marathon, like I, I tweeted this after the race, a marathon is every bit of 26.2 miles and I definitely learned that on October 12th. Um, you know, but again, it's it's all stuff that I'll, I'll remember. Um, that stuff just goes into the into the memory bank and it's stuff that will help me moving forward. You know, I've learned from, those exper from that experience and um, hopefully I can make better decisions next time around. I know at my, in my heart I'm a marathoner, um, you know, running five minute pace or, or just under for 20 miles is not an easy thing to do um, and I did that easily, very comfortably, um, 
and I know that just with more time, with more strength building, with more um, attention to small details that I've been kind of laying in place over the last couple years, uh, it'll come together. It just takes time.